Quick tip, three side chaining techniques in Ableton. Here's our loop without any side chain processing. For this example, we want that kick to really cut through and create a pumping effect in this synth. You'll hear what I mean in a second. The first, most of us know, putting a compressor on what you want to sidechain, turning the sidechain toggle on, selecting our source as the kick track, bringing the threshold down, and adjusting these parameters to taste. But here's a little bonus tip. If your kick has a long tail, like mine does right here, the compressor could be releasing too slow. So turn on the sidechain EQ with the high pass filter and crank up the frequency until it's just being triggered by the transients. Number two, my favorite. If you're using MIDI for your kick, try putting Shaper MIDI on your kick track. Set it to 0% minimum, 50% maximum, and map it to a utilities gain knob on your instrument track. Now you can go back to Shaper MIDI and adjust the shape to your heart's content. You can use the minimum percentage to determine how much gain reduction you're applying. Number three, if you're using something like an 808 kick where your MIDI is variable in length, Try putting envelope MIDI on your kick track. Minimum to 50, max to zero. And this time, let's map it to an EQ's gain so we only sidechain select frequencies, like the low end in this synth so it's not clashing with the 808. Head back to envelope MIDI and adjust the taste. Follow me for more tips.